everyone. Today I'm cooking fish with pineapple curry. It is simple to cook and it's very special this for family dinner. This recipe is for four servings. The ingredients needed are 550 grams of white brown fruit fish, wash and clean, no cut were made as they are small. 650 grams of Josephine pineapple cut into small pieces like this. This is what it looks like. It is sweet and perfect for the curry or eaten on its own. These are the ingredients for blending. 45 grams of guajillo chili or chili kering besar. 15 grams of dry chili, half tablespoon of salt, one stalk of lemongrass, 200 grams of shallots, 80 grams of palm sugar, 20 grams of fresh turmeric, 6 pieces of candy nut or buah keras, 40 grams or about 10 cloves of garlic, 25 grams of belacan or shrimp paste, 500 ml of water, and I will be using 5 tablespoons of cooking oil. Start with marinating the fish. Sprinkle the salt and rub the fish. Turn the fish to the other side and repeat. Rinse the chili with water. Soak in hot water for about 20 minutes or until the chili becomes soft. Next, cut these ingredients into smaller pieces for blending. Lemongrass. Shallots. and chilies. For turmeric, it is quite old, so remove the skin. If the turmeric is young, it can be dropped into the blender as a whole. Alright, it is done. I am going to rinse it. Add all the ingredients that we prepared just now into the blender. Add the blajan or shrimp paste and about 150 ml of water for easy blending. Blend for about 30 seconds or until the ingredients are very fine. Alright, stop the blender, add in the cut chilies and another about 150 ml of water for smooth blending. Continue to blend for about 30 seconds. Alright, the curry mixture is ready. This is what it looks like. Super fine and smooth. Let's cook. Switch on the heat. Add 5 tablespoons of cooking oil in the pan. Add in all of the curry mixture into the pan while the oil is still not so hot. This prevents the oil splash. Give it a stir and cook the mixture for 15 minutes or until the curry paste becomes thicker. After 15 minutes, the paste is well cooked and gets a bit dry. This is what it should look like. This consistency is perfect for curry paste. Now, add in the pineapple. Stir until the pineapple are coated with curry paste. Add in 500 ml of water. Stir until all are well incorporated. Cover the pot and allow it to simmer for 10 minutes or until the pineapple is soft from time to time. Come back and stir as the curry can burn and get stuck at the bottom of the pan. After 10 minutes, the pineapple curry is boiling vigorously and it is well cooked now. It smells great. Next, add in the fish. Please ensure to put in the fish only when curry is boiling vigorously. This is very important. Put in the fish one by one and do not stir when the fish is in the curry. Make sure all the fish is submerged in the curry. Cover the pot and allow it to cook for 4 minutes or until fish is cooked. When the fish is cooking, it will release a fishy taste if it is stirred. After 4 minutes, the fish is cooked. Wow, smells so good. Now I can stir to ensure that the fish didn't get stuck at the bottom of the pan. Alright, time is up. The heat has turned off. Now we can give it a taste. Wow, so good. At this stage, more seasoning can be added 
if preferred. But for this, it is already delicious. For best result, keep the curry for 30 minutes to 1 hour before serving to allow the pineapple and fish to absorb the curry. This is best served with white rice. Let's eat! Oh wow! Very delicious! Fish and pineapple really blend so well with the delicious and spicy curry. The pineapple curry can be kept for the next day. However, the fish won't be very fresh if kept. So please ensure finish the fish within a day. Thank you for watching. Please like and share if you have enjoyed this video. This is Home Cooking with Somjit. Thank you and bye-bye.